what it do homies it's your boy dave and i'm back today we got another reaction to nova rockefeller this time we're checking out her song called did her uh did your best i do have a reaction uh to the song that she released the other day the, the hey you and in there she was going in real deep and it was my first time reacting uh to some of her music and it kind of gave me an insight as to what kind of person she is and what she came from especially with that constructed from destruction line that she put out so we're about to see what this is about let's go ahead shut up and turn it up at school he couldn't do the work the kids all called him retarded he got a job in a warehouse where he packing cut carpet and he never moved up and he never fell in love he's 50 but really 12 thinking about giving up she married young and always felt like she had gotten too deep started feeling like her only way out was to cheat her friends all villainized they didn't see she was weak it's been 20 years and it still breaks her heart that they don't speak he was a rock star in small bars until the gigs weren't paying bills he had his daughter in the car and he knew he had to make the choice to put down his guitar and every day he wonders if he could have been a star So when this first started off, I, at first I thought he was, I thought that they were talking about her and Tom relationship and everything. But then when she said they've been together for 20 years, I was like, yo, what? I was like, they look like they are somewhat around my age. Cause I'm 30 years old. They can't be too, I would say they're, I would say both of them are at least uh, less than five years older than I am. Cause I'm not really too sure what their age is. Um, but no, they're talking about she i'm guessing she's talking about her parents right because this is her song so very interesting right because i always thought that us as kids you know we always got some type of gripes about some of the things that we seen our parents do those of us who are fortunate to have married parents or be born to married parents that we seen them do that's kind of stuck with us you know what i mean and some of us just kind of pretty much swallow it and just leave it in the past but there are other people who kind of bring it up you know what I mean? To their parents. Or you have people like Noah Rockefeller and other artists who try to put some of the issues that they had into the song. And this is a form of therapy. It's a form of uh, uh, reconciliation as to come into terms with the past. So that's what I'm thinking is happening here, right? She's pretty much pulling out her feelings. I don't know if her parents are still alive. Uh, she might mention some of that in the song. Uh, but I do like the direction that this song is going right now. I'm gonna go back five seconds. Of Parkinson's, it's something she lives with. Was strong and independent, now relies on the children. Her voice shakes when she speaks, she's embarrassed, she hates to talk. And every day she wakes up wondering if new parts of her are lost. He got her pregnant before he could finish school. He got busy acting dumb because he didn't know what to do. He ignored he had a girl till her mother stopped calling too. On his deathbed, he wished for the daughter he never knew. She loved her family, two girls and two boys, husband in the garage, she yells she's sick of the noise, and the one day he's out riding and he dies in a crash, now she do anything to have the buzz of his song. Okay, hold on for you. Okay, so now I have more context about what this is what this is about. Okay. Um what I'm not too sure is if this is her parents or if this is her grandparents. Now I don't see the dad around anymore. So this looks like a family because you started talking about I think she was talking about a grandmother saying that she had Parkinson's and everything. And um her parents are sitting at a table with the grandparents and the grandparents, we see that we see them right here. So she must be talking about her father that died in the crash. Okay. So this is I, I see now again I have more context. This is like a song that's pretty much, you know, circumstances, life sucks, and you know, and you are measured by your your worth, by your salt on how you pick up 
to fall in pieces and resend them together to move on with life and everything. So it's almost kind of like a, I'm thinking this is like a tribute to her father, I believe, if not in her grandfather. But both of them are pictured right here. And I don't see the dad in the picture anymore. At least I don't think so. I think I'm following it along. But whoo, this song, it definitely took a took a sharp turn. Yeah, okay, so I'm thinking that this is about her her father or her grandfather, right? I know it's one of them too. I'm pretty sure you guys will correct me down in the comments. Um, very emotional song. I think songs like this, you know, when you make songs like this with the theme being um the loss of life of some of, of a loved one, they're always usually really hard to make, you know what I mean? Um uh, but but like I was saying at the beginning, you know, it's kind of almost like a form of healing, you know, uh, tribute. Um, definitely a, a vulnerable song, right? For somebody to make something like this because uh, you pretty much pouring out your emotions out online uh, out for us to hear. And I imagine something like this was probably really difficult to uh, record, right? Because you're summing up all these emotions. So I definitely want to thank Nova Rockefeller for putting music like this because I think it requires a tremendous amount of courage to be able to put your feelings out here to hundreds and thousands of millions of people who are listening right so definitely applaud you on that um i see you had a little bit of vocals in there uh one thing i also wanted to touch on was the kind of cinematic drum crashes and the cymbals and everything when the uh when the when you started your course i absolutely love that it's those kind of subtle things that really kind of kind of kind of hit it you know what i mean like stuff like that ain't just added in for no reason right it gives it impact right like ah no you did you know what i'm saying like gives that emotion you know so i absolutely loved it i believe this was a this, not i believe that this was a very emotional track and uh also relatable as well because there are some of us who have family members who you know did the best they could and things still fail so and i absolutely love doing reactions to artists such as nova rockefeller who put their entire being being and their feelings and their emotions and their lives into their music right because i feel like that type of music just moves you a little bit differently as a listener instead of you know what we're listening to you know mostly on mainstream which mostly ain't got nothing to do with nothing so <laughs> all right y'all that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out